Hey guys, so today we're looking at bitwise operators. In particular, today's video covers uh, the exclusive OR operator, XOR. This is using a Swift playground as the example, or for the example, uh, in Swift, the XOR is represented with the caret here. Uh, so if you're comparing an integer, you take uh, XOR and do A X or B. What happens here is A is an integer, B is an integer, a, this is the binary representation of A, this is the binary representation of B. So we have the 1's place, the 2's place, the 4's place, the 8's place, since it's a uh, binary number. So this would be 5. We have the 1's place here is a 1. Uh, there's nothing in the 2's place. And we have a 1 in the 4's place, so 4 and a 1 is 5. This one is the Eight. We have uh, nothing in the ones place, nothing in the twos place, nothing in the fours place, but we have a one in the eights place. So that gives us eight. Um, now, when we do XOR between two integers, what happens is it compares the binary representation. And if the place being compared, so in this case, uh, we have the ones place and a ones place. If both of them are zero, or if both of them are one, then the output down here will be zero. So we have a zero and a zero in the twos place here, the output is zero. If there is a one in either one of these places, then the output is a one for that place. So if you notice here, we have a one and a zero, the output is one. We have zero, zero, the output is zero. We have a one and a zero, so the output is one there. And here we also have two ones, so the output is zero. That basically covers what the exclusive or operation does on a binary level with two integers. So what we want to do, this is example, takes two variables, an A and a B. We want to swap the values between A and B without using a third variable, like this function here does. This basically takes an in out, which means that it writes to the memory location of whatever variable you put in here, so you don't have to return the value. We want to swap the values between A and B. So if we actually wanted to do this, we would go, we would just call swap values, and we would pass in, uh, and A, and we would pass in and B, and that would swap the values of A and B. So um, that's one way to do it using a third variable here, C. We don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is swap it using the binary uh, exclusive or operator. The way you do that is three steps, A equals A, X, or B b equals a x or b and then a again is equal to a x or b so you notice in all three of these we have a x or b a x or b and a x or b let's walk through this and see what is happening at the binary level a equals a x or b in binary a is 0 1 0 1 uh, or 5 is 0 1 0 1 and b is 1 0 0 0 so our new a value when we do a is equal to a x or b uh, the binary representation here, we have a 1 and a 0, so it's a 1. We have a 0 and a 0, so it's 0. We have a 1 and a 0, so we have a 1 down here, and we have a 0 and a 1, so it's a 1 down here, because we're doing the exclusive war operation. Uh, so our new A value is 1, uh, sorry, 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary, which is, here we have a 1 in the 1's place, we have a 0 in the 2's place, we have a 1 in the 4's place, and a 1 in the 8's place. So we have 8 plus 4 plus 1 is 13, which is what this shows here. With our playground, we have a value of 13 here. That's our new A. So now we're going to do that again. We take B, we're reassigning to B here, uh, is equal to AX or B again. We have a new A value here, so this is 13. Um, so our binary representation here of A is is the same as the the result from the first operation. One one zero one B still has the value of one thousand because we haven't changed it yet, which we're doing now. So this is one zero. So we have a one value here. We have two zeros in in the twos place, so that results uh, a zero output here. And then here we have a one and a zero, which gives us a one. If you're if I'm losing you here, remember here. If uh, either one or the other value is a one, then the output's going to be a one. If both are zero 
or both are one, then the output's going to be a zero. So as you can see here, one and one and one in the eights place gives us a zero, and a, a zero and a zero gives us a zero. The others have one one and one zero, which gives us a one. So our new b value is, let's see here, we have a one in the ones place and we have a one in the fours place. So our value here is five, which is what it shows here. So b is now holding the value, the original value of a here, which is five, which is, that's good. Now we need to get variable b holding eight instead of 13. So we go to a again and assign a is equal to ax or b, which in binary, uh, a is still 1101, uh, the binary 1101 here. Uh, that hasn't changed here because we haven't reassigned it. That's the original value we got in our first operation. So in step three, we take that value and we XOR it with B, which is our new value that we assigned in step two, which is 0101. So two ones gives us a zero, two zeros gives us a zero, two ones gives us a zero, and a one and a zero gives us a one. So our new A value is a binary one zero zero zero. Uh, and that is, um, here we have a ones place, twos place, fours place, and eights place. So with a one and eights place, that means our value is eight, which is what it shows here. Now, if I'm uh, basically, let's see what is what is happening here on an algebraic level. Um, the three-step operation in algebra basically looks like a is equal to a plus b. So five plus eight here, our original values is thirteen. Then b is equal to a minus b. So a is 13, b at this point is still eight. So b is equal to 13 minus eight, which gives us five, which is what we see here. And then we do this again, a is still equal to 13. So 13 minus our new b value, which is five, gives us an a of eight. So our values would be swapped. So you can even do this without binary with two integers uh, if you want to by using this formula that will swap the two values without having to use a third value. Um, so here's the, the basic rundown of it using integers. A is equal to five plus eight, which gives you 13. B is equal to 13 minus eight, which is A minus B. So our new B value is five, and then A is equal to 13, which is still our A value minus five, which is our new B value, gives us an A value of eight, which swaps our two variables here without having to use a third uh, variable. So that's a basic quick rundown of the exclusive OR operator and how it works. Hopefully that's not confusing. If you have questions or are unsure about it, let me know or post in the comments. Like, share with your friends if you find it useful or helpful. Um, it'll motivate me to post more videos like this. I hope to be putting more of these out. Schedule's been hectic, but uh, yeah, this is it for today. So hope you all enjoyed.